Hey guys, tons of fun here. This video is going to be the first in a series of tutorial videos that I'm going to do for the Twitch chatbot, Onkbot. And this first video is going to be on the command variable read ran line. This command can be used by broadcasters to call a text file that they fill with commands to create things such as an eight ball, roulette, dice game, all sorts of things. The imagination can run wild. So let me show you what we got. Step one for using the read ran line variable in a command is to create a new text file which you should already know how to do. But you go to new, text document, and name it what you think you're gonna make. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to open it up, and eventually you're gonna fill it with commands like I have here. Now this is for a dice game. So in here, we have alternating add points and remove points. Now what I've done here is created various ranges of points for players to win or lose. So the read ran line command will randomly pick one of these lines and execute it in chat. But it's very important, and one of the big stumbling blocks is to make sure that the command is fully filled out. For instance, the add points command needs a target, a range with the min and the max, and then a text value to output to chat, as well as a fail message. Now that you've seen how I've set up my dice text file, I'll show you how to do it in Onkbot. So if you go to your Onkbot installation, go to your commands tab, now here I'm just going to edit the command I already have so you can see it up here. I've got my name there, exclamation mark dice, permissions, everyone. No global cooldown, but I have an individual user cooldown of 10 minutes, which means each user has to wait 10 minutes between using this command. It's also enabled. So I have a little text that I'll output here first before it reads a line from the file. User cast their die, which user will be replaced by the chat user's name, and then it'll read from the file that we have over here. So the combined output will be, for instance, the tons of fun cast their die and gained 75 fun. Now fun points is the name of my point system, but you're going to want to change that for whatever your point system is called. It really isn't a whole lot more complicated than that, but I'm going to go ahead and bring up the documentation to show you some other things. So in the documentation, you'll find a number of parameters which can be useful in combination with read ran line. For instance, if you don't want to hard code your currency name in there, you could use the currency name parameter. As well as you could use something along the lines of points to possibly show there's some total after the effect of the command run through read ran line. But really the two main parameters you need to look at here are add points and remove points. Because these give you the full length of the parameter and each thing that you need to have filled out. So it needs a target, a min, a max, a succeed message, a fail message, and whether or not you will force the removal of the points for this particular remove points parameter. In creating this video, I actually debugged one of the issues that I was having in my stream, where a user with a low amount of points would lose more points than they already had. As you can see, I set force remove to true. This caused their value, even though displayed as zero, would sometimes act as a negative and players would then have to win or earn enough points to bring them back to zero. I don't want this to happen. I want zero to be the lowest possible value. So I'm going to use a really nice tool called Notepad++ to do a find and replace and change every single true to a false. See? That easy. So I would suggest you use something like Notepad++ or another editor and not just Notepad itself. And that's pretty much it. You create the command, set permissions, give it a cooldown, some flavor text, and do a read ran line parameter, feed it the, the name of the text file, then simply fill that text file with more commands, and you got yourself a game. Hope it helped you guys out, and look forward to more Ankbot tutorials from Tuts of Fun. Till next time, guys. Peace out.